Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit something different. Um, I'm going to finally be showing you guys my tea collection. I don't know if it's going to be all in the same video yet, because it's it's big, it's big. And I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes and a tin here. And just, it's big. I'll show you guys in a minute, but... I mean, the only way that my collection would change, I'm doing this after my tea haul. So if you haven't seen my tea haul, do check that out. But, um, I haven't got anything coming in, per se. Um, <laughs> so, I do want to show you. If you do want me to keep doing the subscriptions, the tea subscriptions, please let me know. And I'll keep doing them for you guys. I'm just really not sure if it's worth buying every month. I don't know. So I feel like if I wanted a tea, I could buy it from the collection when they release new things and stuff. But I don't know. Um, it is cheaper to get it like new releases through the subscription box. So I'm very undecided. So let me know your opinions on that. And... <laughs> I thought I kind of thought that we would do a little bit of organization with my tea collection because they are just kind of stored in boxes like this. Um, so I do have this box is currently empty, and I have a tea tin here that was for biscuits, but I think it'll be perfect for tea. And it's got a little picture of a kettle there, so. I'm going to do a little bit of organisation for you guys and just show you my tea collection. Okay guys, um, I don't know if you can see, there's the tea tin that I was just telling you about. And then I've got my giant box over there full of um, mainly tea pigs and bird and blend stuff. And then this is my matcha box and then I've got a few things that just don't fit into any of these boxes. I've got a tub just full of empty sachets. That's a mishmash over there. That box is a mystery even to me. This has got like um, tea bag boxes in, kind of like this. Um, this is tea tins and this is a little bit of a mystery to me as well, but it's definitely got tea in. And then I do have this box here as well underneath this empty one. I just brought the empty box. To kind of show you, um, <laughs> maybe we can organise things a bit and move some of this, like, extra stuff into extra boxes or tins. So, yeah, this is my full um, tea collection. <laughs> so, why don't we do this box first? I do just want to quickly say that my camera is going to be moving around a bit because I'm just holding it to show you guys. But this is Moji Tea. It should be in this box, but it was in my monthly tea basket because it's expired. Um, we've got Nearly Nirvana, just a little white tea. We've got Dozy Girl, really love this. This one is New House Blend, really like that. Those are all burn and blend, and then this lot is all tea pigs. Um, so this is chocolate flake, still got a bit left. This one's happy. And then we've got two snooze packets. Um, <laughs> we've got a lot here, rhubarb and ginger. We've got one, two packets of Spiced winter red tea, really like that one. And then I've got three packets, as you can see, of the yerba mate tea. This one's the only open one. I've got three packets of that. And then I have a calm tea as well. So that's everything that's in this box here. So I just kind of repacked them in the box. And it looks a little bit tidy. I've got space for something else, so that's pretty good. Let's just move on to the next box. So this is what is in this little tea tin. We've got um, Peace on Earth 
tea. Um, it's a bit of an unusual one. There's the ingredients just there. Um, I actually got that from TK Max. I don't know if I should do a declutter as well because I hate this tea and I'm really sorry if you're from Yorkshire but this tea is crap man. I've tried the tea bags, I've tried a lot of their different teas and I hate them. I just, they brew too weak for me. Um, and this is actually loose leaf and it's too ground up to actually fit in a goddamn tea infuser in any of the tea infusers that I have even though they are very very thin um, so I can't really do much with this tea except put it in a French press I feel like that's the only thing I can do with it but and I'm also wasting one of my clip things here so I might do a little bit of a declutter I just don't really I don't like this tea at all so I'm going to put that to one side. We've got the chocolate orange tea here. These aren't really tea things. Um, we got these from Germany. They're to make like Gluch wine, like proper Gluch wine with real wine. Um, so they're like spice packets, I guess. And then this is the jasmine green tea. This one's probably really old as well. I wonder if it has a date. Ooh. Look at that, 2020. Doing just fine. Okay, let's try to put these back in and just kind of organise things. I think I will do a little bit of an organisation and declutter with you guys. Um, or maybe I'll put things aside to um, put towards a tea swap. So if any of you guys are interested, I'll show you at the end my total like tea swap pile. If any of you guys are interested in it for swapping for teas of your own, um, you know, it'd be, you could just message me on Instagram, um, but I will advertise the tea swap on Facebook, but I'm not going to link you guys to my Facebook because just no. So I will organize this and then be back in a minute. Okay, this tin is an awkward shape. I don't know if you can see, but it's um, it's slanted on this side. But I just put in my organic spiced rooibos, which I also got from TK or TJ Maxx. I can never remember what it's called in the UK. But I have a little bit of space there, a little bit of wiggle room for me to do stuff later. Um, let's just get into the next box. So these are my tea tins, um, I have quite a few of them, I've got one over there and one over there as well, and another one over there, but I've got quite a few, so I'll go over the ones that aren't in this box first. So this is from China, it's a fruit tea and there's no date on this, which is a little bit annoying, but I actually have in this tea, I've got, i put in... I'm just trying to get them out. So there's the tea from China, which I will finish up very, very soon. And then these are from Mayleaf, which I just put in there because I'm very unhappy about the bags that Mayleaf have. Like, they have great tea, but this is crappy storage for an expensive brand. I'm not going to lie. So that's what's in this one. This tea tin is, of course, Bonfire Toffee, my favourite, favourite Bird and Blend tea. Really love that. This one, um, I don't want stuff to kind of fly out, so I'll open it and then show you. Okay, this one is actually um, Everyday Brew Tea. Loose leaf, I'm pretty sure, but there's no label. <laughs> but this is where I put my loose leaf tea. So that's everyday brew and then this is the well it's the same tea as this english breakfast everyday brew whatever it's called um and hang on was it the tea pigs one i guess it is because it's this i'm getting a little bit confused but this has um it's meant to have 20 in there but i've really stuffed it to the brim but I love this tea and I'm so happy to get a tin because I will definitely repurchase this tea 
over and over because it's that great. Um, any other two tunes? I don't think so. I think that's all of them for now. So let's go into these ones. This one is um, Teepix Chamomile Flowers, Loose. It's a very strong chamomile scent in that one. Um, this one is the Honeysuckle Tea from Mayleaf. This one has the Purple Drain Tea from Bird and Blend. I don't like this tea. Um, I might put this aside as a declutter. I really don't like Purple Rain at all. I'm not going to put teas in that are out of date, just so you guys know, but... I just don't like the purple rain tea. I've tried it with milk, I've tried it without. It just tastes gross, in my opinion. So this little tin here has my May Leaf samples. You've got um, Dragon Pearl Jasmine, um, Silver Needle, and Elder White at the back. And then this is the um, Milk Oolong. And then down there, one of these is milk oolong. This is the, um, it's called jasmine tea, dewdrop jasmine, I think. I can't remember. But this one on top is definitely the milk oolong. Very sorry if the little rustling of the bags is a little bit noisy. Um, have we done these two? I'll do these two next. Okay, so this one is black tea from Cameron Valley. It's a tea that I bought in Malaysia. Um, it's a little bit too fine to actually have in a mesh, similar to the Yorkshire tea brand. Um, so the only way I can really use this is, as, um, is with a tea press. And then this is nettle tea. Um, I think it's the one from Hebden Tea. Pretty sure. And then I'll show you what's in this box. Yeah, this one is definitely from Hebden because this is the nettle tea from Mayleaf. That's um, chrysanthemum flowers and that's rosebuds. And these three are all from Mayleaf. I do just want to quickly say that I got all of these tins except for this one on eBay, um, including that one. I think I have a third one, but I finished the tea that was inside of it so that's downstairs but there's nothing in it there's no tea in there it's just the tin that looks like this um that is my little tea tin box don't know if i could fit the rest of my tins in here okay just kind of reorganized them to fit this one and this one back in so let's move on to the next box just wanted to quickly show you that I put my really big tin and bonfire toffee in here um, and filled up that little space in the first box. Okay, I think I'm just going to quickly show you these teas. So this is Tesco Finest Vanilla Chai and I actually got both of these two teas for Christmas from my mum. This is a Sainsbury's tea. I've not tried that out. But this box isn't opened, but I have tried it multiple times at my mum's house when I just go for a cuppa, when I actually visit. Um, and it's the vanilla chai, and I actually really, really like it. I don't know how she makes it, but it's it's good. It's really nice. Um, my mum prefers the Tesco one to the Pucker one, which I agree with. I don't think the Pucker one's as good. And then she got me this matcha green tea, and I had a little bit of a giggle about it, because... Um, I think in the ingredients it says green tea flavouring and then matcha <laughs> and I was like it's just saying green tea twice so I haven't tried those yet um, the green tea one but I'll be finding somewhere to put those and then we've got the chocolate orange and then the Gluck wine teas and then <laughs> I think I'll do that later let's do this box next Okay, so I've got quite a few big packs of tea picks. I've got um, the Marrakesh Mint, I think that's what it's called, green tea with mint one. This one's really good. I really like it, but you do have to drink it with um, a bit of sugar because it's quite bitter, the green tea. 
this one is a chamomile. I really like chamomile tea. And I think chamomile tea tastes good with biscuits. Has anyone else ever tried chamomile tea with biscuits? Um, and then I've got Everyday Brew, of course, because I really recommend it. Something that confuses me a little bit, um, because people have referred to this tea as Everyday Brew tea is everyday brew or they call it morning glory but then that means that this tea is called marrakesh mint but people call it green tea with mint you know i'm very confused about what the actual tea is called like is this one chamomile or is it dream on it just confuses me just a little bit so let's put those back in there i'm going to turn that around because it bothers me Okay, I just took the other boxes out. So I have chamomile um, from Lipton. This is from Malaysia. I think I picked this up in Malaysia anyway. Just put that in there. And then I do have the tea house um, cherry and banana tea. This is probably getting old. Um, is there a date? I thought I put all the ones that were out of date in my monthly tea basket. Yeah. Let's see the date. Oh, it says 2020. Look at that. Not out of date yet. Um, this one is chamomile and spiced apple. Um, I think I just picked this up in the store. Um, this I got from Malaysia. It is jasmine green tea. Um, I do want to quickly say that this brews the colour of a black tea, which I find to be very, very odd. It's not green, it's black. And then I've got morning kick sample, two morning kick samples there. So let's put some of these boxes in here too. Okay, I managed to fit, I don't know whether to put these in here or in my little sachet box over there. I might keep them over there. But I managed to fit some of them in. Um, the box isn't going to fully close, which is a little bit annoying. But I don't know. I might get some of these out for my little tea basket next week. I don't know. I've had a little bit of a space there, but these just don't quite fit in. So let's move on to. I've done those boxes. Those are all my little teddies. Let's move on to the. That dastardly box over there. You're going to be horrified by what you see in there. Now, um, this is the messiest box I have. Um, some of these are plastic bags because I repurposed the tins. So, all of these in bags are the Twinings Cold Brew teas, cold and fuse. Um, so, you've got passion fruit, mango, and blood orange, apple, cucumber, mint, and green. This one's the coconut and pineapple. This is the watermelon, strawberry and mint. And this one is grapefruit and orange. And then I've got a huge clusterfuck of tea sachets. So um, <laughs> maybe I'll do those at the same time and like rearrange. I don't know. I'm just going to empty it onto the bed and feel ashamed of how many teas are in this box. So, um, I emptied the box. <laughs> um, a lot of these are from Malaysia, actually. So I have tea tarik, which is like a, um, a pre-made tea in a sachet. It makes it easy to travel with, I guess, but I've got a lot of those. Um, these are a similar concept. They already have sugar in and stuff. A thing about teas from Malaysia is that they're very likely to have sugar in, like pre-made teas. I've got this lemon tea and it is full of sugar, let me tell you. So I've got lemon tea from whatever this brand is. And I've got Bo lemon iced tea. My boyfriend actually told me it's pronounced Bo, but I just don't like saying it. I like saying Bo. <laughs> is that weird? I like pronouncing things my own little way. So I'm going to take all the lemon ones, the royal milk tea and the tea tarico, and then, I don't know, maybe I won't put these cold infused back in there and just put my Malaysian teas in there. I think that sounds good. 
So let me just take some out. Okay, I kind of sorted them out into piles. So all the lemon ones are in here. I put the tea tarot and royal milk tea in this tin. So I'm going to keep those in this tin here. Um, these are the different teas that were in the box. So I've got peach iced tea and um, orchid splash, which is like tropical kind of things. And these will go in here. And then what I think I'll do is, oh, I'm not sure, because um, these are iced teas or cold brew things. So I think I might put cold brew things together, but then I don't want to put this in the same box. So this is roasted green tea. That's Japanese tea mixed with toasted brown rice or roasted. And then this is just Japanese green tea really love these um so i think i'll go through that next um i can always i'm gonna put these two in the here and then kind of oh i've got this little tin full of <laughs> random things as well so let's just do it <laughs> okay that's all gone. I'm going to keep them there for now and then just get these teas out. Then I've got those there and then I've got this little jar here which I'll open. So I just emptied the jar and I've got all this here. I might transfer these cold brew things into this tin um, because it seems like I might have less. I do have these twinings ones that are stuck together annoyingly. Um, I got some of these like samples from Christmas. So these three are the grapefruit and mango and blood orange. Uh, we've got the strawberry, watermelon and mint and then one of the blueberry, apple and whatever. Um, and then you've got some fruity teas which I'll just pop in there. Um, super fruit, that'll be nice cold brewed. You've got cherry. Um, this is like a fruit thing, I don't know. I might be able to do the whole video today, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I'm just kind of putting fruity teas in here. Most of them are by Pickwick, which are all probably out of date. I'm going to put those in there too. No idea what they were. From Lipton, I guess? Yeah. Um... I've got a lot of pocky teas. I'm going to put that in there. Pickwick tea. I've got some more Twinings things. I've never seen this tea before. Um, that's black tea. That's Earl Grey. Another super fruit. Uh, New York chai. That's a black tea. Hmm. This tea is kind of annoying. I hate that it's called Womankind, but it is meant to be really good for cramps, mainly because it's got cranberries in, but you know what? You can just buy cranberry juice from the supermarket, and that doesn't say womankind or woman-friendly on it, does it? Like, anyone can drink that tea <laughs> if they want to drink it. Not just women. It's like, how does... How does how do guys feel if they pick up a tea that says womankind but they like uh, they like cranberry and rose and vanilla but they don't want to buy it because it says woman on the front like just a bit weird to me okay so all these teas here are my puka ones um so this is what this box looks like at the moment it's half full i'd say I don't know, I might bring this box into the mix. It's a little bit um, awkward, but I'm just going to chuck these pickers into there. And because I think they've outgrown the little roses tin over there. So I'm just going to put them in this little box here. I did just realise I haven't really properly shown you what pucker teas I have. So I've got pucker love, pucker relax, um, pucker night time. Pucker chamomile, vanilla and manuka honey, um, wild apple and cinnamon. I think I have some mint ones somewhere. 
I've got Pucker Womankind, um, Pucker Love, I don't know if I've already said that to you guys, um, and I think I have a three mint somewhere, so if I find it I'll show it to you guys. Oh, here it is, three mint. And then I'll just pop them in the box, and then I'll show you the other lesser known brands in a minute. I just forgot to show you that I also have vanilla chai. So these are the ones that I was talking about um, when I was comparing them to the Tesco finest vanilla chai. The Tesco ones are better, so take that with what you will. Alright, I just put the pucker teas and then all of these um, brightly packaged ones that I showed you earlier. So I've got a New York chai which I'll keep out to finish off. I've got an Assam tea. Um, I miss one of them. Another Assam tea. That brand is Trident Hotels. I got a Goodwin tea, which is just green tea. Um, this one's Goodwin Earl Grey. Goodwin Green. Goodwin Earl Grey. And then I've got a Darjeeling tea here. Tea Pigs Clean and Green sample. My Morning Kicks. The New York Chai, I might put this in the other box, I've got chamomile flowers and while that fits into the fruity little box more, it's not a cold brew tea so I would put it in there but that's by a brand called Tea Khan and this one is a Lipton one which I think I put the rest in here so <laughs> I have now emptied that little jar and that and it has turned into this. <laughs> So, let's move on to something else. And I did just put the cold brew twinings teas in there as well, so I can... This is just a cold brew box, you know. Okay, um, so I've got this left, my matcha, and then that giant box of um, teas like this. So I'll go through these three at the end. I'm sure you know what they are if you've been watching my videos. So this is just a thing of green tea that I got from Malaysia. This is lemongrass, it's a sample. And this is the Hebden Tea Rooibos. Gunpowder green tea which my grandma gave to me because she received one of those like snack subscription boxes um, for a really cheap price and she was like here have this tea because she would she wouldn't realistically she wouldn't drink it um if you don't know gunpowder green tea is known for being very bitter so it's typically like a moroccan t tea and drunk really really sweet so this one is the tea pig single estate breakfast tea and they donate um 50p per pack that's a little bit of a step up from like the 10 or 15 that they um, donate with the the English breakfast tea, whatever it is. I'll just quickly show you. The ones in this tea, they donate money from this pack, but they donate 50p from this pack because it's purely Rwandan tea. They do taste different, they are different. Um, this one's just a complete pack of apple and elderflower. I do want to say that I get a lot of these teas from my grandma. And I think she just either buys them or she gets them or she just has them. And she just passes them on to me because they just, they're just like, you're obsessed with tea. Here, have all the tea in the world. So I've not tried this one, but I'm not looking forward to it because it's apple and elderflower. So that is that little box empty. Um, I'm going to leave it like this for now so I can go through my matcha box. And then, oh, I do have a few sachets here as well. So I've got Tetley Lemon Twist, which I'll put in... Where did that other box go? There. New York Chai and then the Afternoon Infusion, which are all super old. So I just put them in this little box here. We've gone through a lot already today. So these were the teas that I was 
I had out in my monthly tea basket that I had to add because um, if you haven't watched the video, I think I linked it at the start of the video, but um, yeah, I'm just getting my matcha out and then I'll show you guys all the matcha I have. So that is my little matcha box completely emptied. These are all um, from Malaysia. They're a really nice brand. It is a pre-made matcha latte and it's by the brand Boh or Bo, whatever you want to say. And then we've got some matcha from um, Tea Pigs and then that lot is Burn and Blend. So Tea Pigs, I just had the premium matcha and I got a little sample of it as well. And then I have two lemon matcha samples, a pure matcha, ice cream matcha. I've actually done a review of this tea before. Robos, Pina Colada, Maca Mocha Mixology. I have a mermaid matcha, a huge tin of black magic, ultraviolet, cocoa, spearmint scream, orange and passion fruit, apple and pears, mate matcha and ginger nut matcha. So those are all the teas. I'm going to put the matcha back in or I might put it in that um, roses box over there. I'm just going to play around and see what I can do with these boxes. I think these boxes will be more useful for things like this over here that I haven't got a little home for, all those things. So I'm just going to play around and then we will get into the ginormous box over there. So I just kind of put my matcha in this little box here. Um, I don't have a lid for this box if you're wondering. I'm sure I have it somewhere but I have no idea. I haven't seen it in over a year. So I do have these matchas just piled on top. I might keep these out. I don't really know yet but let's get organising the rest of my stuff. So I have just kind of put these teas away. I want to try and fit these um, tea pigs ones in here. Um, I got a few in there as well. I want to take them out and fit them in these little boxes over here. Um, I'm just going to show you these first. So I've got Moondrop Dreams, Duvet Day and Deck Chair Dreaming. I do want to have just these types in this box it's mostly okay i did get a little bit cut off there but what i was saying was that this box is literally packed full of these sort of packets so i've got the night before christmas mistletoe and wine and mince pie i'm gonna put them over there i have taken these guys out and this these two are from thailand they're one of my favorite teas um, and they are in tea tins, so I'm going to put them to the side here. Not in the declutter pile, just kind of, um, they have a tin. And then I've got this, which I got from TK Maxx, um, TK, TJ, I don't know. I think it's TK in the U UK. Um, and the brand name is Espacia Still Soul. And then I have three cucumber and mint packets which i'm gonna put over here and then i'll sort that out again later and then i have a lychee and rose the box is looking pretty bad for wear and then i'm gonna tip these out and then i'm gonna sort them into a pile of keeping and declutter slash tea swap so i will show you that in a minute Okay, I just emptied the box. I'm just going to put that on the floor for now. And then I'm going to put ones I want to keep over there and then declutter in this little pile next to Moondrop Dreams. So, I have a Tea Pigs um, Jasmine Pearl Loose Leaf. It's cheaper to buy in loose leaf and I really, really like this one. So I'm going to keep that. Um, as you may have seen earlier, I already have um, another whole packet of this in a tin and I have the tea bag so I'm going to put this in my declutter pile I'm going to keep this tea pigs peppermint leaves um, I'm trying to do the big box bags first um, peach lemonade this one is beautiful if you can ever get your hands on it do 
definitely a keep for me. Um, I don't think I've tried this one yet. Um, so I feel like I should keep it and give it a go. But I'm going to put it in my keep pile. Uh, this one is chai. It was pretty good. It was a little bit spicy, I think, but I can't really remember. So I'm going to put that in my keep pile. We've got Darjeeling Earl Grey. I'm going to put that over there, mainly because Hepton Tea is not a huge name brand. And I don't know. I don't feel like anyone's going to want to try these. These are just sample sizes. And I did pay for the sample sizes, but... Um, so we've got another two here. We've got Chocolate and Mint and Japanese Cherry. I'm going to keep Japanese Cherry. I don't know about the Chocolate and Mint done a review of this on my channel so I don't really know what to do with that. I've put it in my declutter for now. We've got chamomile. I keep that. Monkey chops. This is very unusual. I've done a review of this as well. I'll try and link as many things as I can in the cards. Um, but I only I have a limited amount of things that I can link up there so if I run out of things to link I'll put it in the description hopefully for you guys or I'll link the playlist of my tea reviews so that would be easier actually I'll just link the playlist so you can just check them all out and then you'll be able to find them I've not tried this one yet so I'm going to keep it uh, tea from the hood um, I think I've tried it before mascarpone and sour cherry I really liked it uh, we got Cherry Lips from Bird and Blend. I think I've tried it before. There's a lot of teas that I'm not sure if I've actually tried. Gingerbread Chai, 100% keeping. Next time it comes out, I'm going to buy a tin. It was really, really good. Tunting Oolong Tea. Love this one. Oh, Mocha Chai. This is one of my favourites. Um, next time I'll buy a tin because it's one of my favourites to be honest minty gunpowder green tea um I might have a unsure pile over here <laughs> ginger and lemongrass I'll keep that peppermint I feel like even if I put peppermint in my declutter pile no one would want it because it's just peppermint I have now moved the minty gunpowder over there I've got crush and blush um, it's an oolong base. Um, let me just smell this real quick and see if I want to keep it. So the thing is, is that I've not tried any of this freaking tea. I have opened it to sniff it. Um, and the thing is, all I smell is the rose. I don't know. I might put this in declutter for now. Keeping the mouthing. Keeping lemon and ginger. And of course the honey and rooibos. I have tried some of this but Darjeeling is not my favourite. We've got Choi Fong. Uh, I've tried this one. I like that. We've got the worker tea. Um, this is a mix of like Yevermate and Honeybush. Enchanted Narnia. I'm going to have to smell some of these because um, I don't remember how everything smells. I might go through this pile again off camera and sniff them all and see if I really do want to keep them. Because as you can see, I have a lot of freaking tea. So <laughs> this one's going into clutter. I've not tried any of this, but I will go over whether I've tried the teas in my declutter if you guys are actually interested in a tea swap, lemon and raspberry, I liked that one. Um, Earl Grey Strong, really like that. Oh, I've not even opened this. This is the fruit pie chai, but I remember not liking it. So I'm actually going to keep this in the declutter. Panty Lomon. Um... I remember not liking this. I think I'm just going to link my tea subscription playlist as well. Um, banana bread chai. Uh, did I try that or not? I can't remember. 
but I'll put that over there. The other mate's keeping gunpowder teas in the pot. Hmm. Not sure at the moment. We've got whisk tea. Love, love, love that one. Dark chalk chili chai, gonna keep for now. Um, Lapsang bang, this one was okay, but I felt like, like, I love Lapsang Chong tea, so I'm gonna keep it, but I feel like it could have been better. It wasn't much of a chili taste. So we've got Malfang, by Hebden tea, cherry vanilla pua tea. Here is my other sachet of bonfire toffee, love it, and smoky russian, my absolute fave. We've got the great white from Tea Pigs, um, pan galactic gargle blaster, gonna keep that in my maybe pile. I think the ones that I'm gonna put over here, um, I'm gonna sniff, so I'm going through that pile, add to this one, and then sniff them. The ones that I'm not really sure about. So I'm not sure about lemon sherbet, I haven't actually tried it. These ones I haven't opened, but I know I love this tea because it's baby spice. Um, I did a haul ages, ages ago. Um, is that all I have left? Oh my god, I need to stock up more next year. I need like a 300 gram tin. Baby Spice is amazing. We've got Duvet Day. I said I'd put this one in the D-Stash. Pineapple Mint. There's barely anything left, so I'm just going to finish that up. Love, love, love Peppermint Cream. It's like an oolong and mint, and it's just beautiful. And then, oh, we don't have many left. Queen of Tarts is going over there. Oh, another packet of baby spice. Love it. Tanting oolong. Not much left in there. And then we've got chocolate black tea. Assam. I really like Assam teas. Chocolate and rose. And that is my complete box. Um, stay tuned for A, how I'm going to put them back in this little box over there. And also for my D clutter pile I will update on this pile in just a minute so um, I just put all the teas I wanted to keep in here which pretty much fills it till the brim I'm just going to show you the teas that I either want to declutter or do a tea swap with um, so here we've got 50 grams of enchanted narnia crush and blush 50 grams moondrop dreams which I've had one scoop out of to try for you guys, duvet day which I've not tried, mistletoe and wine which I have had one scoop out of, um, I don't really like it, queen of tarts which I have tried um, for a subscription but there's still loads left. Um, I'd be willing to swap these 10 gram ones, they are 10 grams each for a bag of this. So what a tea swap is if you don't know is that it is basically swapping tea for the same, not for the same type type of tea, but like swapping it for something that you are interested in. Um, so leave a comment or come over to my Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description to my Instagram um, if you are interested in any of these teas. But I've got chocolate and rose and chocolate. I would swap these two or maybe these three for a 20 gram or 50 gram bag. Um, that one is chocolate and mint, chocolate and chocolate and rose. This is an unopened um, 50 gram bag of 100 gram, 100 gram there. Bag of chamomile flowers from Tea Pigs. It's, everything here is in date. This is a opened, but like all of these are opened except for the chamomile and the fruit pie chai there. But they are all unused except for these four, which I've already said about. So gunpowder teas in the pot I've had for a sample. Um, fruit pie chai, 20 grams. 
not even opened lemon sherbet i didn't really like the scent so i've not actually tried it at all and then duvet day i haven't tried this one because i tried the one in my subscription so i'm keeping the 20 gram one but i haven't tried the 50 grams and then these four oddities that have a scoop missing out but i'm willing to trade for like teas that also have a missing scoop so leave a comment or just pop over to my instagram and message me over there i also have this yorkshire tea but if nobody wants it i'll just bin it well when i say bin i mean put in my compost my food waste bin because you can compost tea leaves just so you know so that is it for this video um i hope you kind of enjoyed looking at my tea collection decluttering it a bit um and just kind of reorganising it a bit. I mean, I still have somewhere to put these tins and rearrange that. But besides that, it's basically done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you made it to the end to my little declutter here. So thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you guys in my next video.